New 11 neighbors in one Syracuse neighborhood are taking action, hoping to make their streets safer. Neighbors in the Westcott area have recorded all the currently non-functioning streetlights, and they're sending off that list directly to National Grid. To the iPad tonight, they have mapped it out. All these red colored dots show the streetlights that are no longer working. There are 36 that are dark, 18 that are dim or flickering, one lamp has a pole missing, and a tree completely blocks another. CBS 5's Brett Hall is with the live eye in the neighborhood where neighbors say they are trying to shed light on a big problem. Brett. Yeah, Michael, right now we're in the Westcott Business District, which really doesn't have a light problem when it comes to lack of light. However, they still are affected by this. Take a look. We have a lamp right behind me here that has been flickering on and off the entire time we have been here. It's out right now. But, you know, neighbors, they really want to get on this. They say there's an influx of people expected next week when the SU starts at fall semester. Several in the neighborhood want this addressed right now and fast. Three things neighbors in Westcott enjoy. Their quiet, their peace and their ability to walk everywhere. It's those reasons why Casey Brandt has lived and worked in the community for much of her life. I feel really safe in this neighborhood. I have lived in this neighborhood when I was younger. However, she says some attention is needed. More secure presence, you know, some, some, some more security, some better lighting. Lighting that appears to have gone missing from the neighborhood street lights. There, there are definitely concentrations throughout the neighborhood. Uh, certain pockets you, you'll notice when you're walking around at night are very dark. Grant Johnson is the president of the Westcott Neighborhood Association and the group's recent audit found nearly 60 lights that need some attention. It's hard to say what's causing the lights to go out. Maybe they're just getting old. But in some cases, they're non-existent. So you're saying that this one, there was a street light here? There was a street light here, yeah. It was, uh, it was hit by a car. I think it was this past winter, it might have been before that, but obviously there's not a pole here anymore. Johnson says he knows crime can happen in the daylight. A lot of them happen under the cover of darkness, which is exactly why we need better lit streets. But it's simpler than that. Oh, what if they trip on a sidewalk? I mean, there's all kinds of things that, that could happen. So the group is sending the information to the National Grid to make sure their money is spent the way it should. Things like the, the streetlight audit help them remain accountable for making sure their equipment is, is kept in good repair. And to make sure people continue enjoying their community hey, for years on. to come. We're not a group to be overlooked, for sure. Now, I talked to National Grid about this. The company says when it becomes aware of an outage, crews try to respond in a reasonable time frame. Now, a spokesman for the company also says logging on to their website is one of the best ways to report an outage. So if you see an outage, you're urged to do that. Reporting live in Syracuse tonight, I'm Brett Hall. Michael, back to you.